Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Monday the 9th of August. The local media headlines today. A disc jockey and musician is starting a 32-month prison sentence for hate crime. It's thought to be the first case of its kind in Cornwall. Graham Hart, who's 69 and from Camborne, admitted the offence and was sentenced on Friday. He supports an extreme right-wing brand of Cornish nationalism and had spread anti-Semitic comments including Holocaust denial online. More people are moving to Cornwall than to any other part of England or Wales, according to the Office for National Statistics. Cornwall's population is growing by about 5,000 people a year. The football league season resumes next weekend, with Truro City again forced to play home matches in Plymouth. Still no sign of a stadium for Cornwall, ten years after it was first promised. County Hall has been warned to remember the impact on local health services as it prepares to give the go-ahead to a £170 million redevelopment of Truro. And the political agenda in Scotland could start to be of more interest to people in Cornwall as Nicola Sturgeon's government resumes its quest to pioneer Britain's first tourism taxes. The idea of a tax on tourism is slowly gaining traction, particularly after the BBC told us that the unprecedented number of holiday makers is putting an intolerable strain on local services. Visit Cornwall says it's worried that holidaymakers are not getting a good experience and recognises that local people are also unhappy about the situation. The Falmouth packet had plenty of pictures of the town's carnival, which resumed last week after a year off because of Covid. And finally, Cornwall Live looks forward to the Newquay Boardmasters Festival. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.